where the Pacific meets the beach, the best in the world came to battle. 16 heroes stood tall. 14 of them have fallen. And now only two remain. One will be champion. This is the 2017 Summoner's War Championship Series. So 16 players began our Summoner's War LA Regional event here in Santa Ana, California, and we are down to the final two. It's Sai and Barian standing by to determine who will be the champ, taking home $2,000. Runner-up takes home $1,000, and both of these players are headed to the World Championships in November. It's time to get fired up. <laughs> Ali, Clay, and Koopa. Koopa, your pick. Hua, not in the finals, thought I should mention that. Your pick was the man who was just eliminated by Sai. No, my pick was actually Sai Ovarian. Really? Yeah. So you're saying that you called this shot? I was saying that Sai, Varian, and Brainlag were the favorites, in my opinion, and I think we're going to have a super exciting match with Varian and Sai tonight. Clay, you're not allowed to be right. Don't you know the first rule of casting? Mm -hmm. you, have to, <laughs> you have to be wrong. Otherwise, people think you just, you know it all. <laughs> all right, these two are ready and waiting, standing by to get their draft together. All right, boys, what do you expect? I expect oh, a lot yeah. of next level stuff happening that yes. it's gonna be tough to portray what's going on in their minds because both players at the top of the ranks, top five players for both of them really in the world. But let's think back specifically to what we've seen so far in the event out of each player, Koopa. And that the approach that Barian has taken to get to this point, the approach that Sai has taken to get to this point, they've both been paying attention to one another's matches. Now they know what they need to know and how they need to approach each other. And that's exactly what Sai has been doing, though, is we don't necessarily know everything. Every match that he's done, he's played some kind of wild card or some kind of different strategy. It's never been the same thing, and that's how he's taken his opponents, is he's never given the entire roster of every single person here enough time to learn what he's going to do. And so does he have another wild card that he hasn't played yet, that he's been saving in the finals if he were to go all the way to Baryon? And he might have that. He might have something that we haven't seen yet. Varian gets first pick. Who's he taking, Ganymede? I don't know. It's going to be interesting because we've seen one consistent thing from Sai this entire time, Bestet. and that's been Bastet first pick. And we'll see if he does it right now. But yeah, he does pick up the first pick here. I know that Varian said before the tournament even began yesterday that he was farming the R5 dungeon to get one speed grindstone to hold his uh, Psy counter. But, yep, just like we uh, discussed, it is Bastet first pick from Psy, as he's done almost every single match that he's gotten first pick. And Barry re Barian responds with that Ganymede and Water Panda combo, yeah? Absolutely. I think it's a good combination. It's just, it's leaving Psy open to speed clear, him, which is... A weird thing to say against Barian. <laughs> it's, it's really tough. I mean, these guys have the difference of speed, Overall maybe somewhere between like one to three speed on who's actually moving first. But in this in this match, that, that one to three speed is everything. And so you've got Sai here playing very fast units. He already has a one speed lead on the table. So Barian's going to have to think very carefully. Does he want to get his own speed lead on the table? Does he want to go heavy sustain to be able to last long enough to be able to survive against the control that the units that Sai is going to be bringing? And what angle does it feel like Sai's bringing now? Sai's bringing three the five. three, the same three units that he brought first against Hua in the match when he had Alicia and Zeros next afterwards, where he just completely dominated it. Barian right now, I don't think he has a specific answer to it if he doesn't ban the right monster, which is what it comes down to. We may see Zeros and Lucian, strong units. He said he plays aggressive, and we are definitely seeing aggressive play against Barian, which he may not have been ready for. And yeah, we'll who do you ban? Who do you ban? Who do you ban on size team? Who do you ban? That's really tough. I mean, maybe, do you do you take the speed lead with the hopes that you're going to go first? I would take Bastet out and hope that my uh, my team has enough resistance sustain? and sustain oh, to man. come back. Six seconds. 
Six seconds left. No bands have come down just yet. And there it is. And there it is. Bastet, just like we yeah, you called said, it. Yeah. You called it. He I mean, takes the attack the same power lead. He's been with, trying the entire yeah. time. And he knew that if he took out Lucian, then he would have had the defense break come down, just like it happened against Swa. If he left Zeros in there, then he would have had mm -hmm. Lucian with a full attack. And he decides to go with the resist lead, hoping to resist that Zeros, uh, either the stun or cooldown reset. We'll see what Sai chooses to do, but that is still a lot of damage. Talking about one of the most offensive Lucians in the world that Sai has here on this team. It does Baryon have enough effective HP to survive. This might be over really quick, but Ganymede gets the first turn. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything to He's gonna strip remove. my Oprah. Oh. No <laughs> And from here, it could be, it could be over really quick. Well, this quick. is the setup. This is uh, what n everyone wants to avoid, and this is where the resist lead really comes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Both of them know it. Brain to RNG right fingers. now. Lands it on all Every four, and one. that could be it. No stun from no the stun. Weak unicorn. Here comes he really magic. That. The gamble was all on the front side of this game. <laughs> Big damage without even having an attack power boost on now without, Lucian. And then no cooldowns. So Jan Hong, some of the, one of the best healers in the game, is unable to do anything. And then here comes Tableau, resetting everybody's attack bar, giving Zeros and Tiana more damage now. Tiana as well, doing 7,000 damage on a Tiana second skill that scales off speed. A stun lands on Xeros, which is clutch. That's exactly what he needed, but I believe, I believe it's really, gonna take, it's really tough for It's gonna very, take the last three monsters here. Wow. This I can barely watch this. Oh, oh there's wow. the reset cooldown. Yana Hong coming in with the full heal on wow. the win unicorn. Win unicorn also offering sustainability shield to oh gosh. That's oh, just a check in. With that wind unicorn though. applying the shield to Ganymede so able to clutch. keep him into the match. That might be enough to keep Baryon uh, in up against Sai. I think it's it's really cool that these guys just got the notification that we're about to find and out. I know, we <laughs> really are. Well. Lucian goes down with the vile proc out of Yan Ong. We've got a 3v3. I don't know, this is turning into Baryon's favor really quick here because without having the skills up from he the He has the, the resist lead though and didn't get any stuns. Crowd is dead silent in here, just wondering what each player is going to be doing. The charge vitality, one of the strongest heals in the game, not only oh, healing herself, but also increasing the attack bar. Proc. The Baryon. Wrong button. Not Luck showing is... any mercy up against Psy tonight. And Luck is definitely on Baryon's side <laughs> in this match, just holding on by a sliver as he stunned the Xeros a little bit earlier on in the match, giving him another uh, another chance and then getting several violent procs from Yan Hong uh, to bring him back. And double stuns though from from Tableau, able to break through the shield. That was a lot of damage to break through when Unicorn's shield there. Click the wrong unit. And I'm, I'm over here and Baron say he clicked the wrong button. Baron saying he might have clicked the wrong skill. He's uh, beating himself just a little bit right now. And a defense break on the Wind Unicorn there. Able to take it down, does oh. not, but he's able to finish it up and follow it up with the, uh, the Tiana. And I think Sai was able to finish it out just yet. We'll see, though. I don't think that... Uh, Yano <laughs> is extremely strong, but with the with the attack buff going on to Xeros right now, this dragon is hitting extremely hard, especially if you land a stun on Yano right now. Let's see if he gets the defense break. Does not. 1v2. I would use the first skill in this situation, and he does. Gets the defense break and, and finish it off it. with fiery, fiery breath. breath. Round one goes to Sai in an extremely exciting first round for both players swinging both ways throughout the entire fight. I'm curious to know exactly what the moment was and what the, the incorrect skill was, like what Varian was hoping to do. He was saying it right moment. after he used something with his Yan Hong. I, I believe he used a heal when he was meaning to use Blade Fan, which could have potentially taken out one of Sai's monsters. 
I'm not sure 100% though. And he was hoping to get first pick so he can take Sai's Bistet, which he's doing right now. And Sai answers back, I actually taken the Ganymede away from Baryon. Uh, we're going to see a, a much different match than we saw in round one. Yeah, Sai, anytime something happens where one of those monsters is taken from him, he completely changes his entire strategy. So like you see, instead of going super all-out damage, all-out attack, he already has two supports now between Ganymede and Beta because Baryon took that Bistet first turn. And for this final match, though, I believe it is best three out of five. Best, best of three as of right now. There is some discussion right now with the comp to us folks. We'll see if perhaps they will be extending it, but so this still could awaiting word on that. Could potentially be it for Baryon if he were not to win this fight then. No pressure. <laughs> Marion with one speed lead. Sai looking to possibly be content with um, not taking first turn. He's got a really tanky team between Beta, Agonomy, Wind Panda, as well as Water Unicorn. Also having the double immunity buffs between right. Beta and Amelia. And Ganymede, if I was Baryon, who do you ban? And this was in, in a game, in a match like this, I think Baryon's one of his strongest weapons is the Mo Long, especially up against how tanky of a team. And here we are, your favorite unit. He Shows does pull out the Artemiel again. So if you're, you're playing with Artemiel with that style team, who are you banning? Well, I, originally, if I was Sai, I would have been looking at banning the Mo Long, but playing with Artemiel, like I said previously, having the Sierra just not it ignores defense. So having that come through with the bombs, you definitely want to make sure that you're looking at banning the Sierra. So in his situation, I mean, he can go either way. He could ban the Molong, he could ban the Sierra, or he could ban something completely else. But it looks like he does ban the Sierra, and also <laughs> the Iron Mill gets taken out as well, Baryon not wanting to fight against that. And that leaves Sai's team with a lot of sustain, a lot of damage, and I mean, looking at Baryon's team as well, he has also a lot of sustain and a lot of damage through Mo Long as well. It's just yeah, hoping to... A big decision between Baryon right now. Does he choose to go with the big resist lead from Yan Hong or the defense lead? And he actually shows defense. And I'm hearing now that it is official. This is going to be a best of five match. So we will not have a champion, even if Sai manages to win in this particular game. So it will extend it a little bit longer here. And uh, Sai actually gets the first turn with Beta. Decided to increase the attack bar of Ganymede to ensure the, uh, the first turn from Ganymede to reset the cooldowns there. And in turn, Baryon responded. Increasing his own attack bar, I believe, on the, uh, was it the, the water Mo Long. Yeah, 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 you, you, it's crazy because you can use a healer, but you can also use her to boost an attack bar. And the freeze on Mo Long, and that's exactly what Baryon did not want to see because he just used that, uh, that attack bar boost from Yan Hong on Mo Long. So the stun from Water, Uni water Unicorn right that was uh, really strong for Sai. Amelia is just a strong unit altogether. Lots of survivability on Sai's team. It's going to be super tough for yeah, Baryon. Two to different through. units that can provide immunity. And unfortunately, Baryon, uh, she does, he does have Lima, which can dispel harmful effects, also provide invincibility. He just has to make sure that he times it correctly with what Sai has on the table. And it's just interesting to see on the first round between these two players, they were both pretty aggressive on both of their teams and you saw the swings from one way to another but with this one both players are a little bit safer in their picks right. and this one's going to go a lot longer it's going to get into that 40 percent increase that 50 percent increase mm -hmm. attack power as well and we might be here for a second on this match i got a second well when you have quality of play like this in the finals why not enjoy it for as long as possible you know, it's the only moment I get to watch an LD now five. Yeah. Two of it. Two, I know I get two. Get over it. <laughs> I can't. Koopa wants an LD now five so bad. <laughs> One day. Did not hit the freeze on Yan Hong. Man, 
down to the last second, trying to decide what he wants to do with his mermaid. Ventilate resetting himself, enabling him to play Seal Magic once again. I believe Sai was hoping for the Violent proc there to reset the skills of the Light Sky Dancer. Did the same type of strategy though, using Beta to increase the attack bar of Ganymede? Barry doing a nice job though, slowly working down this Water Unicorn and he ended up uh, stripping the immunity. Do you think he's going to try to kill Beta first or Water Unicorn? He just applied he just got the defense break onto Beta, so I think he's actually looking to try and take down Beta first. Because if he's working on the Water Fairy King this entire time, or the Water Unicorn this entire time, Beta's just going to revive it. Right. He doesn't have a way to reset her cooldowns. So you've got to focus on that support. Get that out of the way before shifting attention. barry has got to be careful, though, because the Wind Panda there scales going into late game as well. This is what he's been saving. He finally was able to get Predict the Future off from Lima. Uh, and he was able to remove all those immunity. And he's like, I he's like, he's setting up that Molo. Reset skills get, skills get a violent proc Mark from Bang Yan. Oh. Takes out Lima. And that could have been the deciding violent proc from Sai for Fang Yan. It's definitely not over yet, though. His bet is in a tough position. Not low enough to where Bang's going to get the kill right here. But oh, he close. needed to get that Amelia down, did not get it down, and actually proc the defense boost, but Bissett able to take down the rest of the way. Down goes the Unicorn. Violent proc out of Fang Yan, Beta, unable to get a Vile proc as well. Mo Long looking to get the defense break, and he does, setting up his Yan Hong to uh, get some damage. And Mo Long's going to be getting close to... The additional to turn... Could be a deciding factor for Barian to get the kill on the beta before she gets immunity and the heal to the entire team. Hoping to get the kill, but Stet might be able to. Decides to go with the buff instead. Now he's just hoping that his beta goes before Mo Long. Mo Long. It's Mo Long all day. Mo Long there goes first and is able to take down beta? Question mark? I, I, I would say that that is definitely a smart decision. I would take it out. There it is. And by this point, he should have uh, Reckless Assault off yep, cooldown to go against Reckless the Bang Yan. Um, with the full attack bar boost, he might be able to play it immediately right afterwards. And it looks like it's going to take it down. And yeah, down goes Ganny. Bang Yan's left, but... Don't count him out just yet. This is... Yeah, Barry has to go through a lot of turns to be able to get Reckless Assault back from Mo Long, so he's, a, he's not out of this yet. Well, Reckless Assault, but even if he gets a defense break and then has the damage from Light Sky Dancer there to finish it off, that could be another way as well. But also getting Violent procs from Yan Hong as well. Oh, we need to... Got a stun and... It might have sealed the deal. Looks like Sai is saying That's it. that he is ready for the next match. And it is one all between Barian and Sai in this championship round. And it felt a little bit like Barian was up against the ropes at a moment in this particular match. And yeah, he definitely was. Composed himself, didn't get flustered, picked up some, uh, some RNG. A little bit of good luck. Yeah, he definitely did. This, this is a really tough match for both these guys and unfortunately sometimes they have to adapt on the fly you know did their harmful effects land were they able to reset cooldowns um and so it's it's never just like you know black and white as far as how the match is going to go it starts right here with this first pick Sai getting Bastet and now Barian uh, with Wu Sagani so another once again a completely different match as far as uh, which player is going to be picking which unit Sai going a little bit aggressive again with that Bastet same on a, three uh, tableau. trio that we've seen from Sai several times and Baron's got to figure out if he wants to try to exactly. outspeed like, him. What do you draft in that situation? Do you Looks start like he is going to first? outspeed him. He's hovering over Frigate right now and he's going to pick some sort of speed lead or is he going to just thinking about it a little bit more. We'll see what he does. He kind of has to just because Tableau with the speed lead as well. Like if he wants to have a chance at going first, I feel like you, you pretty much have to. Um, there's only so many different speed leads in this game and there it oh, is. Oh, he picks another speed the lead. The Trinity on the table. I think that's a solid choice. Now he has two speed. And this is one of those cards we were talking about that we haven't seen yet. It's like, how do you how do you plan against that until you if you, if you haven't seen it the entire tournament? The one monster that could have potentially ruined Barian's plan of going first and then banning a speed lead. Now he has two speed leads on Sai's end between Tableau and Trinity. 
and then also still having the damage between the two monsters of Lucian and Trinity as well. Looks like we might get to see Ragnarok. Another ban on Bastet, just like the first round as well. And it seems to be kind of coming out to whoever gets the first pick is picking Bastet. It's almost a battle for Bastet now, right. as we've seen different battles right. in other matches. But it's Sai who's forced that reality. It is, it is, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because Sai will u either A, use it for his control team, or he has the option to go at like, some sort of aggressive team like we're seeing right now. And there it is, able to outspeed Baryon's Wusaw and Frigates. Will he have enough effective life to survive Amputation Magic and Ragnarok? Not a whole lot of damage there. I've taken about the half final battle people. begins. Let's see. Here it comes as Frigate stays alive, but does not move. Tablet does not move before the Wind Unicorn there. Is the shield enough, though, to take The shield out? offers a ton of effective life. It is a lot of HP, and this is exactly where Baryon wants to be. The worst thing that could have happened is that he would have lost one of his units. And the opener is able to hit. done on Lucian. Same thing that happened last round. Basai was able to come back after the Xeros got stunned. Did not get to take down the Ganyu, and I think Baryon might be able to come back in this one, sealing the uh, the last AoE monster there, which is Lucian. Yeah, this is a really tough position for Sai to be in. Lucian uh, is not going to be able to do much more for him. The Wish of Immortality providing immunity as well as a fresh shield for his entire team. Frigate has the option to play stun. Sai to actually play full speed ahead, which reduces all the cooldowns on his entire team by one turn. Um, and that 50% attack bar boost is huge. I think Barry might have this one. The additional turn going back into unicorn form, looking to get a stun on Trinity. Oh, just two to stun Tiana. Four to three edge for Barry, who sustained some damages early on. Starts working on the Trinity with Wusa. And Again, Sai is in. ready for another match as well. Baryon takes it now 2-1, to one, winning two matches consecutively. So now we finally get to see Sai in a position where he is down. He has never been in a situation where he's had more losses, essentially, than his opponent. So does he, A, play some kind of wild card we haven't seen, or does he go for more of like that stable control element? Well, could he shift gears now, having lost twice with... <laughs> right, you could see something we've never seen before. Barion wins, though. He wins everything. Well, we, we could see Sai and Barion going at each other again in the finals in November. I mean, both of these players have an invite to the championship. Um, so this isn't the end for these two. And I think Sai mentioned that uh, he beat Barion, but just ever so slightly the last time they faced off, roughly one month ago. Mm -hmm. and that's a long time in this game. Things change. Uh, units, balance changes occur. Uh, Barion with the first pick, able to get Bastet, Sai looking for a more control team, able to take the Molong Ganymede as well as Beta, choosing the Wang, hoping for a long sustained game, Wayne uh, in the late game gets very strong, Barion knowing this, uh, choosing the Yanhong, one more unit, 12 seconds. I really like that Fire Monkey King pick by Sai because going into a Okeanos, it's super strong, exactly. because it's hitting it a lot and it's not all stunning of his stacks at all. One roll of stone. Absolutely, but He's hovering over a Samath pick right now. I'm not sure if he's trying to outspeed. Again, he has that super fast beta that we have to remember to re-boost one of the this attack bars of one of his allies. He actually does ban the Smath. And Bastet is down for... I think Baryon just really wanted that first turn. He picked two speed leads for a reason. He took down the Water Fairy King. That way he knows he gets to go first. Um, Faye and CR. I know his CR is really fast. I don't know if Faye is. He could use Yan Hong as an attack bar booster so that Faye can play her uh, third skill, which, if it does ignore defense, could potentially one-shot one of these tanky units that Sai has. And look here. Okeanos gets the first turn. He drops the Spear of Devastation down, and he does get the increased cool time on Beta. That's going to be putting him in a really good position for Sierra and another round from Okeanos. Trying to give Okeanos an additional turn. Yanong attack bar boosting going and roll of bones. Looking for some stuns. Ends up getting it on Molong as well as Beta. Seal magic. Gotta make a decision, Sierra or Faye. And that was super, super important for Sai not to be stunned on his Ganymede. But now here comes the Fire Monkey King. Is he going to start going after? Looks like it's Faye, Faye now. He ended up getting the cooldown reset on Ciara, so Faye, Faye right now is the one that has the threat. 
And now the match heavily in Sai's favor, getting a four-team stun. I told you, the quad's done. <laughs> we got to see it. Faye goes down. Ventilate up from Sai, decides to go to Beta. Upside looking to get immunity for his entire team and an option as a so race. It's getting another violent proc here. Sets it up perfectly for Molang to reckless assault. Take down Okeanos, leaving just Sierra and Yan Hong left on Barian's team. And Sai now looking in a super, super good position. Yeah, what a shift of having momentum. All I mean, from four monsters at super high health. The quad's done, Koopa. I told you. The quad's we done. We're going to see it, man. The quad's done. <laughs> Now immunity is up on Sai's end, so that Sierra's not going to be doing much while no. the immunity is up. To be fair, Sai was looking pretty good before the quad stun, but after the quad stun, it... After the quad stun, it definitely changed the match. However, Yan Hong was able to remove the immunity from Mo Long, and he missed the bomb! If there was one thing that could go right in Barian's favor in this match, it would have been landing the bomb on Molong. This is a tricky situation, though, because he has gotten me to reset cooldowns on Beta. If Beta wasn't able to res the Molong, it's just such a, it's such a throw in the dark. It's like you're reaching really far. So Barian, I think, just got to take away what happened in this match. And we go to the last Round match. Round five. Good. I think what everybody wants to see, yep. winner take all. Yeah, two. Matches a piece, two games a piece rather in this match, in this final. So this is the moment, gentlemen. The winner, two thousand dollars richer. Second place, one thousand dollars richer. Baring Both of them the going to the worlds. First turn, but we've seen Bastet. Right. And first pick every single time, but he chose Ganymede instead, leaving that open for Sai. Is he going to take it? It looks like he's going with Bastet yep. and Okeanos this time. Right, so which was Baring, his strategy yeah. just a little bit. Where Barian, I think he was understanding that he knew how to counter that Bastet, Tiana, and Tableau trio because he did it last time. Because he has such tanky units, he has so much effective life that he can right, take so he a Ragnarok and an Amputation Magic. And Sai is maybe used to some players where it's like they, they can't take, withstand that much damage. There's just exactly. no way. So Barian kind of allowed him to have it because he would rather take his chances at that again than to. Maybe draw it out. So Sai changing up his strategy just a little bit here now, going with Bastet Okeanos hovering over Praha right now because of that Wusa, I believe. Decides to lock it in along with Feng Yan, which is good, a solid, solid decision against uh, Mo Long and Wusa as well. Barian really liking the Sierra Yan Hong combination. Is he going to lock in though? Sai already looking through his units, trying to figure out if this is what Varian locks in. Who does he choose for his final unit? He has one strip option on Praha with predicted future. Um, would remove all beneficial effects, converting them into uh, continuous damage effects. Has the r ability to strip with the Okeanos' skill too. If he chooses to leave a Wusa on the table, he might need another choice. And he does, he actually brings Chilling. Definitely next level play from Sai to be removing the immunity and shield from Musa. But with chilling, do you think that Barian knows that he's gonna be allowing Musa to go through? I, I mean, we saw chilling drafted earlier by Topa, and it, his chilling was super strong. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. So it, I'm, I'm excited to see how Sai uses chilling and. How much damage is he going to end up doing? I mean, it, it still can work really well, especially if, if you do choose to leave Wus on the table. You can start picking units off one at a time. So here we go, gentlemen. The moment we've all been waiting for. Sai took the first game. Barian came back to win two in a row. Sai took the last one. And it's all come down to this. Yeah, with Wus on the table, Sai has a lot of ways to strip his team. <laughs> Now, Barian's going to do his best to start eliminating those. Unfortunately, unable to get any attack bar reduction. He did reset cooldowns on Praha, though, so she won will be unable to play Predicted Future, so it is safe to use Wusa's buff, which actually um, kind of takes Fear of Devastation out because he can't reset cooldowns because it would have to eliminate the shield first, and the resist protects it um, and covers, basically, uh, Yunhong's cooldowns. Chilling, though, is still something that Sai will be able to use to start eliminating um, all these buffs on Barian's team. And there it is, the way that Massive Barian life is played. With the right along right away. And then here comes Chilling now, hopefully doing some work. 
Unfortunately, Sai was not able to remove Will and reset the Yun Hong when he tried to do his uh, Praha later goes on. But down, Ventilate. down goes Praha, makes it a four to three match now in favor of Barian. In this situation, he's just trying to rotate through these attack bars as fast as possible. Molong with Reckless Assault available, looking to potentially take out Chilling next. He needs to get someone to 30% or just roll with Reckless Assault right away, taking away 70% of their total HP. What is the path forward for Psy down this one unit? This is a really tricky path because he's about to lose his Okeanos if he doesn't uh, figure out something really fast. I think if Okeanos goes down, this might be sealing the deal for Baryon. He still has Wind Panda, though. Still has Wind Panda, but I think... Because well, he's the quad stun. No. Well, triple stun. He got immunity on Wusa. And there it is, three stun Wusa still on the table. No sleep on first turn. Okeanos looking to reset cooldowns on Yan Hong. He lands an additional Turk out of uh, additional proc out of Yan Hong. Unfortunately, unable to heal from the reset on Okeanos. A lot of damage coming to this Ganabe. Not as much damage as Sai was hoping for on the Ganymede. Didn't really touch it too much. Wasn't able to even put a scratch on it, really. Still has a really good chance here. He didn't get the stuns from Olong. Sai still has a chance here. Did not kill it still. And Ganymede able to reset the skills on Chilling, leaving just Feng on and Chilling left over from Sai. Oh, it's one of the most powerful heals in the game, taking his Fairy King back up. The Varian ventilating his Molong, getting ready for another Reckless Assault. And there it is. That is yeah. it. Varian is the champion. And Sai has been defeated. He needed to get rid of that Ganymede, was unable to do it. And the bell simply tolled on Sai, so he resigns, giving Varian the fifth and decisive game of our final match. There is your 2017 Summoner's War Los Angeles Regional Champion. Let's send it down to Maria Ho, standing by with our champion. Varian, you proved that age ain't nothing but a number. You schooled these young'uns here today. What does it mean for you to be the Summoner's War LA Regional Champ? Oh, I, I, I actually did bad to get past uh, Asai. He, he's a great player, and I got a lot of luck. And um, that's what it takes a lot of times to beat him. But I, it feels great. It feels great. Congratulations to you. And here is a look back at exactly how we got to our champ, Varian, defeating Archer, followed by Faint Memory. And then Sai, certainly no easy path to victory, a respectable 3-0. and And he's going to be at Worlds next month, gentlemen. How do you like his chances there? His chances are extremely good. And uh, even Sai as well, both of them going to be strong competitors. And... It's going to be interesting to see who comes out of the New York bracket as well to yeah. face off against them. Yeah, definitely. Right, right like Barry Ned said, sometimes there's a lot of luck involved. So, I mean, we could see these two go head-to-head -head again later on in November, and we could see a different outcome. We could see the same outcome. So, really excited to see uh, who comes from New York, who goes from L.A., and as well as the rest of the world. And in the grander scheme, if we did see these two locking horns one more time, it would be the third match between them of recent memory. A month ago, Sai won. Today, Barian, who would win on the third occasion if we should be so lucky as we hand out the honors? It's the story of the gold as Maria crowns our champion, Barian. One last order of business. It's time for the money. $1,000 per second and two grand for first. The kids back home are gonna be getting some electronics courtesy of Dad. Well, it was a great time here at the Esports Gaming Arena. We've got another regional in New York in just a week's time. But until then, I'm Ali Najad on behalf of Clay.
and Koopa. We'll see you then. Gets a double stop.